Hello everyone, welcome back. If this is your first time here, my name is Risa, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some more of my Amazon must-haves. Last month when I uploaded a Amazon favorites slash must-haves video, I did ask how often you want to see these types of videos, and the majority of you said monthly, do them monthly, and that is very easy to do for me because I order from Amazon almost every single day. I have been preparing my two sons, aged 18 and 20, for a 10-day trip to Israel. They're leaving in a couple of days. And I have placed orders, I keep forgetting things, and I keep looking at the checklist of things that they need, and then I go over to Amazon and I order them and I have them quickly. And if you would like me to do another Amazon travel video, I've done one in the past, I think maybe two months ago, I did an Amazon travel favorites. I'm gonna have them travel with these items and give me some feedback on them before I tell you whether or not they were worth the purchase. But today, we are focusing once again on fashion and beauty. From all of the fashion and beauty items I have ordered from Amazon since my last video, I've chosen 10 that I truly think are worth adding to your cart. If they're your style, of course. Oh, before I get into sharing with you the 10 products, I don't want to forget to mention that I am uploading this video on Amazon Prime Day. Obviously, or maybe not obviously, I am recording this video before Prime Day. So unfortunately, I don't know what all of the Prime Day deals are going to be, but in the description box of this video, I am going to link some of the products that I know are going to be Prime Day deals that I personally really like. For example, I know that the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner is going to be a Prime Day deal, so I will have that linked down below, once again, in the description box of this video. So if you click on that link, it will take you to that product and the Prime Day deal price should be there. Okay, so I just glanced over into the mirror I have sitting here and I noticed these little flyaways that I always get up in front. So I think that means I should start with the product that is going to fix this problem, which is this hair finishing stick from Funan. It actually comes in a two pack for just $6.99. It has four and a half stars with over 1600 reviews. The brand Frizz Ease used to have a very similar product to this one, but for some reason they discontinued it. I think you may still be able to find them on eBay, but you don't need to do that. You can just order this two pack from Amazon. So this looks just like a mascara wand, right? Well, what this does is it instantly fixes those flyaways and broken hairs. I probably should have showed you the before closer up, but this is the after. And so here it is at the part line. If you're anything like me, you just get a ton of these flyaways and broken hairs, especially if you're over 40 and your hair is going more gray and getting more wiry. This product is amazing. You can use it on your hairline over here. Voila, so much better. All right, moving on to product number two. I'm going to tell you what eyeshadow palette I currently have on my eyes. This was another great beauty find. This is the LA Girl Beauty Brick in the Nudes. You get 12 shades in this palette, nine of which are soft shimmers and three that are matte. The packaging is great for travel. There's a little mirror inside. It did come with a brush. I don't know what happened to it. I obviously just misplaced it. What I really like about the shimmers in this palette is that they aren't overly shimmery. There's a fine line between a soft shimmer and a bold shimmer that emphasizes texture, which is something a lot of us don't want, especially if our eyelids have become a lot less taut in recent years. These shimmer shadows just give the eyelids a sort of soft gleam. And the tones in this palette are really great for someone who prefers neutral to cool eyeshadows versus those really warm eyeshadow palettes that you see a lot of lately. Okay, moving on to brows. I happen to catch the live Get Ready With Me of a makeup artist that I follow who lives in Nashville. I will put her name up on the screen right here. She and her friend, who is also a makeup artist, the two of them were getting ready together, could not stop raving about this City Color Be Bold Brow Soap. The two of them were saying that this product is miles better than the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze for a fraction of the price. And they were not wrong. This is a fantastic 
brow shaping gel or brow setting gel. I am just crazy about this. I just purchased also from Amazon and I can link those as well, a bunch of just disposable mascara wands, those spoolies, and I bend it and then I stick it in the tube and I brush up my brows and then I wait a minute or two and I go in with either my brow pencil or a brow pen to get those really nice trendy fluffy brows. Or another way I've been using this is when I use my brow pencil first, I go back in with this just to set the brows in place. And this brow soap retails for less than $12 currently on Amazon. Up next is this AMTS Glitter Lip Balm Stick in the shade Aurora Lights. This product retails for $12.50, although I believe when I got mine, it was less. The price does seem to fluctuate on this. But again, this is a product that has almost five stars and over 200 reviews. Now it says that it's glittery, but it is not. There is a slight sheen to it. It's sort of frosted, although I hate to use the term frosted because it takes me back to when I was in junior high in the 80s. And I wore this absolutely horrible frosted pink lipstick, this frosted baby pink lipstick that against the silver of my braces looked absolutely horrendous. So I hate to use the word frosted. So this is a 2022 frosted, not a 1987 frosted. Look how beautiful this color is. I've been wearing it alone or on top of a lipstick or liquid lipstick to give my lips some shine and some hydration. And that little bit of frost slash glitter slash sparkle, I think makes my lips appear a little fuller. It just feels so hydrating and nourishing. And it says here that it contains rosehip oil, camellia seed oil, vitamins A and E, and cacao seed butter. It's non-sticky and you definitely don't feel any glitter particles on your lips. I'm sure like a lot of you, a gritty, glittery feel on the lips is a no-go. Now finally in the beauty category, we have this Rosalind Boutique Gemstone Jade Roller Gua Sha Set. This is a two-piece set and it sells for $8.50. I chose this one specifically because it does have over 31,000 reviews, close to 32,000, and almost five stars. Now there is a little story behind why I decided to purchase this. The other day, I was talking to my good friend and fellow YouTuber, Stephanie Marie. We chat on the Marco Polo app, and I was complaining to her that I was really frustrated with my face, my neck, my chin, this area right here. I've always had a little bit of excess skin there, but as I've gotten older, I've been feeling like it's just more and more apparent. And someone took a video of me, well, not someone, when I went out for my birthday back in May, Two other YouTubers, Michelle Wong and Samantha March, were doing vlogs. They were vlogging the dinner. So they were on either side of me, so they were taking video. And when they uploaded the video, I was, oof, I was not that happy with how I looked. I felt like I just had way too much skin through here and I just felt very self-conscious about it. So I actually started researching neck lifts and procedures that will get rid of this. I'm not going to try Kybella or Cool Sculpting because I've heard horror stories about both, but I have heard good things from friends who have gotten slight neck lifts or just lower face lifts. I'm not ready to do that just yet. Even though I will be 50 next year, I just don't know if I wanna go under the knife. So Stephanie Marie texted me this video and the results that this woman got after just two weeks of using a gua sha tool twice a day, I was floored. I immediately went to Amazon and ordered this. I have been using this tool religiously since I got it, which was about five days ago. I did take a before picture. I don't think I'm ready to take any sort of after picture just yet, but I will definitely take one after two weeks to see if I hopefully get the same results that this woman did. I will put the link down below in the description box. So if you do end up ordering this, just follow her video. That's what I've been doing. And even though I have not taken an after picture yet because I feel like it's too soon, I do feel like it's already helped a little bit. I have been using it not only in this area for my jawline, but I've also been using it on my cheeks and kind of pushing up my eyelids because I have hooded eyes. And I do feel like even after just four-ish days, maybe it's just all in my head, but I feel like my face is a little bit lifted. So that brings me to the end of the five beauty products I've been loving this month. But now I wanna move into some fashion, beginning with what I currently have on now. This is a dress. 
There were definitely some mixed reviews on this one, but I am loving it. It's super comfortable. It's great for here in Vegas where it's over 100 degrees almost every single day. I love a tie shoulder. I think those of you that watch my videos regularly, you are well aware that I like anything with ruffles, bows, ties. I don't know, maybe it's the seven-year-old girl that is still living in me, but I really, really like a statement shoulder or a tie shoulder. I do actually, at first I did not like that this has padded cups, but it's great for those of you that don't wanna wear a bra or you don't wanna to have to wear any sort of covers in this area. The only thing I don't like about this dress is the length on me. Well, I shouldn't say I don't like it. I don't love the length, and I plan on actually getting it shortened. As you can see here, I just think it looks a little bit better at that length versus what it is right now. But I'm still going to wear it as is before I have the time to go take it to a tailor. But it's super comfy. I think it's flattering. I love the color. So yeah, I would highly recommend this dress if this is your style. Next up is this two-piece set that I know is not going to be for everyone. But honestly, I'm just wearing this outfit mostly around the house. It makes a great little outfit if you are going to the pool and you want just some easy on pants and easy on tank as a cover up. You can also wear a different top with these pants. I have personally paired a one shoulder brown tank top that isn't as cropped with those pants and it looked super cute. So you don't have to use the matching top if that's not something you're comfortable in. The length is good for those of us that are a little bit taller. I am five foot seven. When it comes to pants and jumpsuits and dresses, I always look for reviews from taller people because I want to know if it's going to be long enough on me. You can always shorten something, but you can't always make it longer. Here's another dress that I have absolutely fallen in love with that, again, I know is not going to be everyone's style. If you haven't noticed yet, my style is extremely feminine and girly, and I am in love with the brand Love Shack Fancy. Well, maybe I shouldn't say in love because some of their stuff I'm not into at all, and I'm especially not into the price point. Most of their dresses are around three, four, five hundred dollars, which I think is way too much. This dress, however, not even close to that price. When I first put it on, I thought mm, maybe it's a little too young for me. Maybe I'm a little bit too busty for it. But then I talked myself right out of that because I'm always preaching that you're never too old to wear anything that you feel good in. And I needed to take my own advice. Now that said, I actually did post a video to TikTok wearing this dress, asking if I should keep it or return it because I was a little uncertain. And the majority of the responses said, keep it. It is so, so cute and I agree, I'm loving it. I'm also loving these wedge shoes. I love a good wedge in the summertime. This one is super, super comfortable. It runs true to size. It's a great height. I don't think it's too high. I wore them running errands yesterday and I was really surprised at how comfortable they actually are. They do have four and a half stars with over 4,000 reviews. You can also get them in this style. You can get them in different colors like white or black. Here's the tan in another style. And I think the $40 is actually a very reasonable price for this shoe. Finishing off with two accessories, I've actually worn these bracelets and these earrings in other videos before I got around to filming this one. Ever since I got these, which was about 10, 12 days ago, I have been wearing them non-stop. When I did wear these bracelets in another recent video, I got quite a few comments asking me about them. Where did I get them? You know, they're not real gold, obviously. But if you want to get in on the multi-layered bracelet trend, this is the way to go. You get all four of these bracelets for $8. Need I say more? And no, they have not turned my arm blue or green, and I actually wore them in the pool accidentally. Even after that, they didn't change color. They didn't leave my skin, once again, blue or green. I love these. And finally, we have these earrings. I'm really liking the chain link earring trend, and I like it even more when the earrings are only $13. When I first got these in the mail and opened them, my jaw dropped. I have been so impressed with the jewelry I have been getting from Amazon lately. These definitely look like earrings that I would go to Dillard's or Macy's and pay $80, 90 $100 for. These are only $13. They look and feel way more expensive. They're not heavy though. They go with so much. 
You can wear them dressy, you can wear them casual. I actually thought that maybe they were a little bit too dressy for this dress, but you know what? I don't care. I just love wearing these earrings. I think the sparkle on this one link just elevates the whole look and brings a little bit of sparkle to my face. All right, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed seeing my 10 fashion and beauty favorites from Amazon this month. As I think I mentioned at the beginning of the video, everything will be listed and linked down below in the description box, as well as links to some Amazon Prime Day deals. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and join the Risa Does Makeup family. I do upload new content at least twice per week. You can also find more content from me on Instagram and on TikTok under the same username, Risa Does Makeup. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.